health cultivation diary, dietary regimen for the spleen. According to the TCM theory, sweet tasting foods enter the spleen meridian, which helps nourish the spleen and stomach. Consuming moderate amounts of sweet foods such as honey, jujube, yam, and hawthorn can fortify the spleen, enhance the stomach, and promote overall health. Honey, which is sweet and neutral in quality, enters the spleen meridian. It is mentioned in the Compendium of Material Medica that honey can harmonize the yin qi and wei qi, moisten the viscera, unblock the san jiao, regulate the spleen and stomach. In TCM prescriptions, many herbs require honey frying, that is, mixing the ingredient with honey for the processing, which enhances their ability to supplement qi and harmonize the center and direct their effects to the spleen and stomach, thereby improving their therapeutic efficacy. TCM emphasized that the spleen is the foundation of acquired constitution, highlighting the importance of caring for the spleen and stomach through diet. One renowned Chinese poet, Lu Yu, who enjoyed a long life, advocated for health cultivation through consuming porridge. The basic ingredients of porridge include whole grains, such as millet, red beans, glutinous rice, black beans, and mung beans. Additional ingredients like other grains, meat, fruits, and vegetables can meet different tastes, make the porridge nutritionally rich and easy to digest. Asian Chinese people praise porridge as the best food for nourishment. That's it for today. See you in the next episode.